Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct an assembly model of wire rope clamp in Autodesk Inventor software. In this tutorial, we are going to make two parts. First will be this U clamp and second will be the clamp adapter. Okay. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. First we are going to make the U clamp. Select the 2D sketch. And here select the XY plane. Now here we will take the two point center rectangle. Select the center point and make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. Define the width here of 30 mm and the height here will be 40 mm. Okay. Now here skip. Select this line, make it construction, and select this line, make it construction. Okay, now go to arc command, select three point arc, select this point and select this point and drag the arc upside. Now you can see the tangent constraint automatically. Okay, and escape. Here, now finish sketch. Now I want to pat, uh, sweep a diameter here. So for that, go to plane, select this bottom. And select this line. Okay. Now select this new plane. Go to create sketch. Go to project geometry. Rotate the view. And project this point. Now take the circle command. From this point. Make a circle of diameter 10 mm. Escape. And here go to 3D model. Take sweep. Sweep this uh, face about this profile. Okay, and press OK. Okay, so this will be the base. Now here, I want to cut thread on this clamp. Select this, right click, turn off the visibility. So for plane, uh, to make a thread profile, go to plane, take offset from plane, rotate the view, select this bottom face, and here, offset it about 2.5 mm. So, type here. 2.5 and press OK. Okay. Now go to chamfer. Take here a chamfer of 1 mm. Select this edge and select this edge. Press OK. Now select this plane. Go to create sketch. Go to project geometry and project this outermost circle. Now finish sketch. So we have projected this diagonal. Now from here we will go to 3D sketch. Select the helical curve, select this point, go to front view and select here this green line. Click here. Okay. Now from here, we will change it to pitch and height. Select pitch and height. The diameter will be same 10 mm. The height here will be 42.5 and the pitch will be of 1.5. Okay, click on this side, press OK. Now finish sketch. Here I want to uh, give a thread profile. So for thread profile, go to plane once again, rotate the view. Here we will start uh, click on the starting point of this curve, select this and select this coil. So a new plane is been generated. Escape. Select this bottom, okay, bottom sketch, turn off the visibility and turn off this bottom plane also. Select this plane to right click, turn off the visibility. Okay, so on this point we have made the new plane. Select this plane, go to create sketch. Here go to project geometry and project this point. Now from rectangle command, select the polygon. Here we want to make a triangle profile, so give it a three sides. Okay. Select this as center point of triangle and make a triangle over here. Now go to dimension. Define this dimension as 1 mm. Escape. Go to horizontal constraint. Select this point and select this point. Okay. Okay. It is going reverse. So first, 
go to horizontal constraint define this first select this point select this point go to dimension now and define this as 1m okay now escape now here go to finish sketch take the sweep command so the profile to sweep will be this and for path select this coil profile okay here you want to cut the profile so click on cut and press ok so this will be the cut profile of thread now here you want to pattern this complete profile go to mirror select this sweep to go to mirror plane go to origin select this mid plane yz plane and press ok ok so it will cut thread this side also select this plane right click turn off the visibility now you want to give the appearance from here i'll take the appearance to metal 1800f okay you can choose it any which you want now save it make a new folder of assembly okay and here write u clamp okay and save now we are going to make the second part so it will be the clamp adapter okay go to new take a standard part in millimeter and go to create now take a 2d sketch and here select the top plane exit plane rotate the view and from here we will select center to center slot give one point here and one point here make a slot profile go to dimension and here the center to center distance will be of 30 mm okay and the this radius will be of 10 mm now go to coincident select this center point and select center point of slot go to circle command make one circle at this center point of 10.5 mm okay and here also of 10.5 mm go to 3d model take extrude select this profile extrude it up to a height of 30 mm okay and press ok now select this face go to create sketch and here we will take two point rectangle select this point and select this point go to 3d model take extrude extrude it up to a height of 2 mm and press ok ok now we want to mirror this profile that side also go to mirror select extrude 2 go to mirror plane go to origin and select the xy plane ok same profile will be mirrored this side ok go to home now select this inner edge take a fillet of 2 mm radius similarly we will apply fillet here here rotate and this side press ok now we will cut the profile ok you can see here a cut profile has been made from front view it will look like this go to part 8 now select this face go to create sketch take here line command make one line from here escape go to line command and make one center line from this center point make one straight line ok and escape select this line make it a construction geometry now go to arc command and here make one arc ok and escape go to coincident select this point and select this line go to dimension select this point and here give this dimension as 11 mm ok and the dimension of this arc here will be 9.5 mm now go to dimension of this will be 13.5 and the center point dimension from top will be 12.4 okay 
now we will make similar line here also so go to mirror select this line go to mirror line and select the center line apply and done here go to extend select this and escape now go to line command to make it a close profile select this point and select this point finish sketch okay we want side cuts also double click this here go to line command and here from this point make one line so we will make it a triangle profile here and join till here go to dimension so the starting point from center point will be at distance 14 mm okay this distance will be 13 mm and the angle between these two here will be of 35 mm okay will not define this select this delete go to dimension so here we will define it as 35 mm okay now we want similar profile this side also go to mirror select this profile go to mirror line select the center line apply and done go to 3d model extrude select all the profiles take here cut and here we will change it to all so it will be a through cut press ok ok so this will be the profile here go to assembly so this will look like this okay now we are going to give the fillet go to fillet take here a radius of 0.5 mm select this profile this this all the edges we will select okay select this and this okay rotate select this top this this here all the profiles this profile rotate this profile and this select this inner also rotate and select this inner and press ok ok now here if you see a pattern is here ok now to make this pattern go to part 8 here we will select the xy plane go to create sketch take a circle command here at this circumference and make a diameter of 1 mm escape so 0.5 mm will be at top and 0.5 inside go to vertical constraint select this point and select the center point okay again you can select i think it is not selected properly okay now go to finish sketch take extrude now here we are going to extrude it up to 15 mm take a symmetric extrude and press ok now go to fillet command take a fillet radius of 0.5 select this ok rotate and select this apply and exit now I want to pattern this. So go to circular pattern, select extrude 4 and fillet 3, go to rotation axis, select this. Here we will take mm -hmm. a count of 8 and the filling angle here will be of 60 degree. Okay, now till 60 degree only this will fill. Okay, I will change the view, it will look like this. Press OK now i want to pattern this side also so go to mirror select this circular pattern one go to mirror plane and select the yz plane rotate the view so the pattern will be applied this side also press ok now this is complete and ok rotate the view select this bottom face go to create sketch here go to rectangle command and select center to center slot make one slot profile here go to dimension here the width of slot will be 
थ्री एम एम एंड द सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस विल बी ऑफ ट्वेल्व एम एम गो टू कंसेंट्रिक ओके को इंसिडेंट सिलेक्ट दिस पॉइंट एंड सिलेक्ट दिस पॉइंट गो टू थ्री डी मॉडल टेक एक्सफूड हेयर रोटेट दी प्रोफाइल टेक हेयर एक्सफूड ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड दिस विल बी कट प्रोफाइल सो क्लिक ऑन कट एंड प्रेस ओके ओके एडिट फ्लिप द डायरेक्शन ओके नाउ इट इज इन साइड प्रेस ओके नाउ गो टू फिल इट टेक फिल इट रेडिस पॉइंट फाइव सेलेक्ट ऑल दी बॉटम एजिस ओके दिस दिस इन एज सर्कल एंड दिस एंड प्रेस ओके ओके गो टू होम now define its appearance so this will be chrome black chrome polished black and save save it as clamp adapter adapter and save okay now we are going to make the assembly go to new take a standard assembly in millimeter and go to create go to place Go to assembly folder. First, select the adapter, clamp adapter. Open and place it over here. Now escape. Rotate the view and place it like this. Go to view, visual style. Change it to shaded with edges. And here, change the light to gray room. Okay. Open the origin, clamp adapter. Origin of clamp adapter. Go to assemble. Take the constraint, visor plane and visor plane. Apply exit plane and exit plane. Click on flush. Apply X Y plane and X Y plane. Apply. Okay. Edit and click on mate and apply. Exit. Now we'll assemble the U clamp. Go to place. Select the U clamp. Open and place it over here. Now escape. Now go to constrain. Select the center axis and select the center axis. Apply. Similarly, exit. Rotate it. Go to constrain. Select the center axis. Rotate the view and select the center axis. Click on aligned and apply. Now here select this face and select this outer face. Click on flush. Here give a distance of fifteen mm. So this will be a minus distance of fifteen mm. So this U clamp can come out. Okay, and press OK. Go to place to content center. Okay. So the hex. Okay, sorry, we will assemble the nuts. So we will take the hex nut. ISO four zero three two standard and OK. Select this profile. Okay, rotate the view. Select this circle. So it will assign M10. Click here. So it will ask you multiple insertion and press OK and escape. So here both the nuts will be applied. Okay. So this will be the final assembly of this. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a wire rope clamp in Autodesk Inventor software. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.